Hey guys, I'm back with another RK3326 chip handheld. This is an R35S, similar to the first one I reviewed right here, where the D-pad and the buttons are on the bottom. Then they revised their design with the R36S and put the thumbsticks on the bottom. Both of them have the really clicky shoulder buttons. And there's been some, some changes down the line. There's been some other colors released, like um, a clear orange, which I, I showed on my channel, which is one of my really um, all-time favorite colored handhelds that I've ever had. But I really do like this, this purple one here as well. It's, um, it's not your typical purple that you see on a translucent handheld, but it's, um, I like it. It looks nice. So this one is supposed to be that same purple. And I've only seen it on one listing at one time, and it's sold out like right away, but I got this thing for less than 40 bucks. And for some reason now all these R35S handhelds are selling for more than the R36S handhelds. I'm not sure why. I'm hoping that this has some kind of uh, improvements because it says real spring trigger, L and R key. Whereas, you know, these ones are just really clicky. It was the same with the R35S, really clicky. I don't feel much of a spring. I just feel straight plastic to button. So, um, mechanical switch, I mean. So let's just see. Maybe there's a better screen. Maybe there's, um, maybe the, the ArcOS system is cleaner, cleaner ROM sets. Let's check it out. Maybe these buttons are better. Maybe they loosen those screws so that the D-pad and the face buttons feel better as well. Because that's something that usually needs to be done on these devices. Um, for those of us who prefer our, uh, Controls to feel, feel the best they can. It's an easy fix. Just open up the back and loosen those two screws, one behind the D-pad, one behind the face buttons. And they will feel a lot better. There's a couple other things you can do to make improve that, but that's for another video. So let's just check this out. All right, real close. Let's just read that. What do we have? The RK3326 Quad-Core ARM 64-bit Cortex A35 CPU. Up to 1.5 gigahertz. 1 gig of RAM, DDR3L, 3.5 inch IPS, full viewing angle, zero, <clears throat> zero distance, OCA full fit, 640 by 480. OCA, is it OCA laminated? Um, so that's that's something I I see on the diff the difference between these two is you see this one just has that that flat screen where this one has that kind of be that beveled edge is that what you call it? Um, but it's just raised. I think that's the OCA laminated part. I'm not really, really sure. So I'm hoping that this screen is better than that screen. So let's get this thing out. And if any of you out there have seen more of these R35S's in different colors, let me know. I'm curious because I've only, and it's, I'm, in regards to translucent, I know that they're selling the opaque ones, but these translucent ones, so I think this one's gonna be rare. Let's see if they spelled it correctly on the back. Console. If I can get it out of the bag, it's catching on the thumbsticks. Let's just pull the whole foam out. Yeah, see it. So there we go. Our purple R35S, and does it look it is a different screen. They have raised the screen. Check it out. Let's just do this right here. Look at that. So this is the new QR35S, as you see right there on the bottom left corner. And this one here has a better screen. Take a look at the original, if you can see that. And you look at the corner right there. You see this is flat. This one's a little bit raised. So this one does have a better screen. Does it have better buttons? I hope so. That would be so cool. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Same exact buttons. It has a black uh, misspelled sticker. They changed the color, but they didn't fix the spelling. So it looks like it has a pretty small battery in there. I think it was a, yeah, it's a 3,500 milliamp hour battery, but. So there we are with our TF card. Volume up and down, nothing on the top. Power and reset. And our OTG and our power ports on the bottom. Um, sorry for the lighting here, guys. And our headphone jack. So let's just move this stuff out of the way. Actually, let's see what's under here first. And then we'll just check the game list out and see if there's anything different. So we have our tiny, itty bitty little manual. <laughs> it still says RGB 20 on there, 20S. Um, that's just so funny. But there's 
really not much going on here there's a couple hot key combinations right here if you guys want to take a look at that and special instructions charging this one says it's fast charging too that's right so that's another improvement on this uh R Q R 35s so let's move this stuff out of the way power it on hopefully there's some battery life let me zoom in for you guys Look at that. The screen is nice. And the reason I kind of like this one, like I said, for N64 and stuff like that, for the thumbstick, is because I have a grip that I can use for it. So um, this this grip right here is for the PAL Kitty RGB20S, which is the same design as this. So let's just see if it fits. Oh, look at that. So, you know what, I need to turn that overhead light off. Sorry guys, bear with me for a minute. So, nice and comfortable. So now when I'm playing my N64, like Mario Kart for example, I'm using the thumbstick and I can still reach the Z button back here. Um, whereas before, when, when, uh, when uh, I didn't have the grip, reaching over there and reaching back was a little bit of a, a chore. So. I already got my thumbprints on the side of this. That's just the way it goes. Let's turn this on. I don't think it came with the screen protector. I'm going to have to double check on that one. R35S open source console. Will it be any different? Come on, baby. ArcOS. There you are. I really like this purple, even though it does kind of look like less mature than that, that deeper purple that you, whoa, all right, that was loud. So we got one mono speaker right here in the center. Um, let's just go straight through the system and see what we have. So 32 games for Capcom Play System 1, CPS 2, 37 games, CPS 3, 4 games. Main 2003, 1928, PC Engine 359, Famicom Disk System 1639, Super Famicom 451. You know, it seems like it's loading the just the, the the image and the the sound faster than on the other one. Like it's there's no like lag moving from one to the other. Nintendo 500, just like the other one, there was 500. So I'm guessing N64 is gonna have 187 games. Let's see. Man, this screen looks good. Look at that. IPS, all viewing angles. <laughs> I mean, damn! Look at that. That is the that is that is one nice screen. Okay, let's keep moving through. And 64, 187, just like I thought. So it's the same the same build. It's just um, a much nicer screen and the cool color. So you can see. I should just turn this one on to see if I can get it. a little comparison of the screen and see if there's anything um, distinguishable. Mega Drive 1221, Dreamcast 5 games, whoa, let's see if they have Jet Set Radio or Jet Riding Radio, which one is it? Crazy Taxi, Dead or Alive 2, Gig Wing, Legacy of Kane, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Game Gear 263, Neo Geo 204, PlayStation 23, PSP 32, what do they have in here? Assassin's Creed, let's see if they have the God of War, no they don't, but they have the Grand Theft Auto. Metal Slug, Street Fighter Alpha. So this D-pad is still tight like, like the other one. It's going to need some um, adjustments. I'll probably do a little snipping of, of the buttons down there. But hey, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely nicer. So let's, let's get the same screen up here. Capcom System 1. Oh, look, they have a, we have a different theme. This is, this is uh, Epic Noir, I think. And then this is, uh, I forget the name of it. Let's see if we could change this theme to, to the, that theme and just have it look exactly the same. So that the theme on here right now is just epic. Let's uh, 
Where's where, where's my thing? Oh, here we go. So epic noir. It wasn't. Was it? No, it wasn't. Minimal arc. No, no, no. Magical pixel. It had to be magical pixel. Oh, the, see, that's what I wanted to do. Um, Arco S. I think it might just be Arco S. Carbon. Let's try that. No, that's that's a different theme. That's kind of a cool one. Kind of like that one. But I don't like the. Oh, okay, there we. Go. I was gonna say if there's the the arcade cabinet in the background for every one that would. This is, this one's kind of cool. Let's see what the game list looks like. Oh, um, you know, like that. All right, I don't like those kind of game lists. So let's let's go back in here. Which one was it? I can't remember. Not that one. That's not a bad one. At least it has a list. Let's check the other. At least we're seeing some of the themes here. Uh, where am I? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Sorry. I am. I am. Uh, what? Something seems different now. Where? Where's my? Where's my? Oh, UI. <laughs> So when I press the button, it takes a little time. It seems like it takes some time to open. Which one is it? Is it Minimal Arc OS? Magical Pixel? No, it's not that. That looks like a Tech Dweeb theme. <laughs> Minimal. That's kind of nice. If you had the box art, I kind of like this. Nice and simple. It looks good with this color, too. But I'm trying to find this theme. I just don't remember the name of it, which I should, because it's like the most basic one. Uh... All right, it's got to be like the next one. So it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. I mean, too. <laughs> Arcos Carbon. I. If, what else could it be? No, I am just. I am just not knowing. But I like looking at all these themes. They're kind of cool. I feel like it's, I'm either, is it just Epic? No, that's the one I had, right? And Epic Noir is the one I thought it was. Boy, I blew this video, huh? <laughs> Trying to make a quick, short video. And I can't remember. I just want the same theme. I'm probably pressing the same one over and over. What's the name of the theme? Magical Pixel. Did I did that one? That was the Tech Weed theme. Epic Noir. Free play. Let's try free play. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, actually, that's not that bad. It looks kind of like a Pandora's Box theme. I honestly can't remember which ones I clicked and which ones I didn't, but there's a Switch Black V2. I'm curious about that because it's R35S Switch Black. Got like a dark switch theme. Oh, that's kind of nice. If it has lists. Ooh, I like this. All right, so I'm just going to say right now, you guys can tell me in the comments what's the name of this theme, or I can honestly, you know what? You don't need to do that. I can do this, which I should have done in the first place. It's NES Box, NES Box. See, sometimes when I'm doing these videos and I'm trying to think on the spot, I just can't think. My brain just don't doesn't work sometimes, so I apologize for that. But hey, we gotta look at some of the different themes here. Let's uh, let's test out some um, Street Fighter Alpha with this uh, tight D pad. Man, this screen. I definitely feel like. It looks more premium with this screen. Just get that little like reflection around the edges. Shut up about the screen, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm not even gonna bother mapping buttons. Let's just get in there and try to throw some fireballs. That makes sense. I didn't say that. See, this feels. This is actually really comfortable with uh, the uh, the grip on. But having these controls down at the bottom isn't the most comfortable design. Uh, if <laughs> if 
Yeah, now I'm having a hard time even throwing a fireball right now. This D-pad is really tight. Actually, maybe it's because I'm pressing kick. <laughs> I don't have my buttons mapped properly. This works fine, I think. There's my, there's my roundhouse. Oh man, he got me when I tried to get him. Maybe I can... Let's see if I can... Uh, function button, does it work? No, still doesn't. I don't want to press, I don't want to quit. I was about to press start and select. Oh yeah, that's right, it's, it's uh, select and there we go. Okay, so I want to map my buttons. Can I do that? Will I be able to? Because it's it's uh, it's arcade or Capcom system one. I always have a problem mapping buttons unless they uh yeah see because they're labeled by numbers. I'm gonna get confused and I don't want to do that on on while filming. So I'll just resume a little bit. Let's see if I can get this off. Double. Nope. There it is. And he jumped over it. Yeah. I'm not good when I have my, my strongest uh, moves mapped to the triggers. It just doesn't work well for me. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's check one of the harder to emulate systems. What am I going to go to? Mario Kart. All right, quick, 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 quick. Hopefully everything's mapped properly for this. I think it will be. That's one thing I gotta say about the R thirty five thirty six S consoles. They they've done pretty well with making sure things are mapped correctly and scaled correctly. I can't remember if Game Boy scaled correctly. We'll have to check that next. So many different handhelds, I, I just can't remember these things. We're gonna do one one race. And you guys remember, feel free to fast forward. Okay. Alright, so yeah, this makes it so much easier for me to reach L2 with the thumbstick up here. If it's down here, I'm stretching for L2. So let's just, let's just start. And I'm pretty sure these thumbsticks, everybody says they're the same as a Joy-Con, but I think they're a little bit smaller. map good. Let's see if I can actually win this one. I'm gonna say I, I should be able to because I can reach my buttons. And I've tested this game enough times now. Come on. I should have been uh, familiar with it now. It's been so long. What was it, like 20 years? I'm just holding on to my banana. That's my protection. Oh, but they're gonna pass me up. You know what? Whoops, I didn't mean to drop it at that moment, but oh well. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't go into the dirt. I don't want that. The reason I use Yoshi, is I don't actually, I really don't know why. M mainly because when I was younger, when I was a kid, um, my best friend always used Yoshi when we would play multiplayer, and he'd always kick my butt. And um, I wondered why he chose Yoshi. Now I see in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, all the pros are using Yoshi. <laughs> oh, I saw that, and I couldn't move in time. All the pros are using Yoshi in those competitive tournaments. It's it's funny. Um, yeah, I guess you could kind of create your own character now using using the, the the me characters with the weight and choosing the 
the proper car glider wheels and all that but I don't I don't have the time to, to do all that research there's a there's a, a YouTube channel I don't know if it's short cat or shot cat I can't remember but he gives a lot of tips on uh, Mario 64 where the shortcuts are different techniques and he shows you he shows you how to win I can win but I don't I don't play with those techniques I um, I usually just win either not necessarily by luck but I'll win by just maybe playing against less experienced players <laughs> I don't know any of the shortcuts or maybe a couple but yo R35 S in purple 3D printed grip. I'll have this linked in the description below. I'll have a link for the R35S, but it won't be for this purple one because it is out of stock unless I can find it. I think I'll call it for here, guys. You guys have seen all this before. You've heard it all before. You've seen me play these games before. And I don't think you guys need to see me play Grand Theft Auto again. So you guys have a good one. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Peace.